If you're getting a feeling that this is Noah's Ark, you are right. Bonnie is a serious animal lover. Just think about what all those treats cost. Her two American black bears were accidental strays. The 750,000 black bears in America kill less than one person per year, and attacks in captivity are rare. But is Bonnie at risk with her bears? The answer to that is more about how they are looked after rather than whether or not they are dangerous. Contrast that with 26 deaths by dog attack each year, although there are millions of dogs in the U.S. alone. This is Bam Bam and Pebbles. They're about four years old now. They came to me. Uh, I have big black schnauzer I have. He's a giant. They were following him, and I thought they were dogs, but they end up being bears. And once they got the bottle and got realized what was going on, they became my pets. These are American black bears. Come on. Show them how tall you are. Good boy. Good boy. Good girl. Oh, mama, baby loves you. Mama loves you. I know. And these are my babies, and they've got really long claws, as you can tell. And they usually tear me up. There you go. Good girl. Pebbles, bam, bam, stand down. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Hey, you're stealing them. OK. They're stealing them. They're stealing them. Good boy. Yes, sir. Mama loves you. I love these bears. You can get in here, and I can mess with them. Of course, you don't want to ever trust them, because they show no, no sign that they're going to attack you. I have been bit. I've been clawed. I've been knocked down by them. And usually, I carry a taser with me when I'm in here, out here by myself so I can get up. And she's about as unpredictable as you can get. I've scared her, and she's turned around, and, you know, I walked up on her too quiet, and I've scared her, and she, she came at me. But, you know, it wasn't an attack. As soon as she realized it, maybe she stopped. I can't express enough that these are wild animals, and their mind can change at any moment. They can be killers in a matter of seconds if they wanted to. I have found with my experience with animals, exotics, domesticated, you feed them well, you take care of them well, you give them plenty to eat, they seem to be fine. When you start not feeding them and doing what you're not supposed to do, you hurt them, then they hurt you back. If you come at them aggressively, they're gonna come right back to you aggressively. Like if they're doing something, and she's wanting to bite me, I just change her mind and go, no, 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 you know, it's okay. You know, you turn the tables on them. And loud noises will scare them. There's times that, like, I'm doing something and they're being nosy. If I don't want them around, I'll slap the side of the tank and they run. I'm not a bear expert and never claim to be, but being with these, and these are my first challenge with them, I've learned a lot. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's been trial and error. I think they're doing good. I think, I think I'm doing okay with them. I mean, some people may say I'm not, but they seem happy to me, don't they, to you? They're very easy to take care of. I, I'm really surprised. I've offered them meat. I've offered them fish. I put four rolls of hay out there day four yesterday. Look how easy they mangled it. <laughs> they go up in the trees. They get on them. They climb up on them. I mean, they get way up there. They come down to eat and they pick on me. Have you touched one? Come here. Bam, bam. Come over here on this side, touch the butt. These bears can be dangerous, but that is also part of their appeal. And this could be why predator pets are popular. The feeling of being with these animals is a mixture of fear and fascination. I'm slightly worried now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's licking me. <laughs> oh, dinner. <laughs> <laughs> They're very strong. They can take a log and they can literally push it, move it wherever they want to. 
Oh, look at that. Is that good? When she comes in heat, she gets a little cantankerous and she can get pretty rough with him. But he doesn't show any aggression. He, he just does his own thing, gets in a different tree. <laughs> like a man, goes to a man cave. <laughs> but this is my baby right here. This is my baby. Yeah. My main concern is keeping them where they're supposed to be, keeping them fed. And like I said again, as long as you feed them, feed them well, they're not going anywhere. And these guys here can't go back out in the wild because they don't know how to feed themselves. So basically they're mine until I die. And then when I'm dead, I have a sanctuary that's gonna take them and that will take them and the cats. So they already have a place to go. This way people won't have to say, well, she's an old woman. Where are they gonna go when she dies? Well, there is a place for them to go. And it's a wonderful place. And they will care for them like I care for them. Been there a zillion times to keep on different times and make sure how they take care of their animals. And I'm very impressed. I don't know how long they're going to live and how long I'm going to live, so there we go. <laughs> <laughs> they stand on the edge, and this is what happens to my $500 stock tank. Huh? More toys? Huh?